Hey, this is Chris Ferguson with MetaSweet Herbals, and I want to welcome you back to part two of Herbal Home Remedies. I'm going to talk today about rosemary, which is a fragrant evergreen with short needles, and I have one right here behind me, and it is, um, it likes full sun, it's heat tolerant, and just to rub it, you can just smell the fragrance coming off of it. Rosemary contains several things that can help us medicinally, like when we wake up in the middle of the night not feeling good. The great news is that rosemary can help with a lot of these things. Rosemary contains volatile oils, which makes it aromatic, a lot of scent that can get down into the lungs. It can also stimulate moods and help with mild to moderate depression, and if you think about it, with the olfactory nerve being the nerve that runs from your nose back up into your brain, it can immediately have a positive effect on on your brain. It's also known to help migraines and other headache types and it helps with memory. In fact in Greece if a student is about to take a test they will burn rosemary which they believe helps their memory so they will do better on their tests. Rosemary also contains flavonoids which are powerful antioxidants that help strengthen your ability to fight disease and infections and it also contains tannins and tannins are um, chemicals that work as an astringent. They help lessen inflammation by pulling the moisture out of that swollen tissue to help it heal. Rosemary is thought to stimulate the adrenal glands the ones that are responsible for releasing cortisol during stress and giving you that fight or flight response. And we all have that with today's stressors with job and kids and traffic. Um, and cortisol is one of the main culprits with accumulating belly fat. That's um, something that has come out recently. Being continually stressed out can also lead to adrenal fatigue. And it's also known for rosemary to act as a nerving, which is something that can gently calm the nervous system down. It's not going to act like a sledgehammer, hit you over the head, knock you out. It's very gentle, acts very um, easily on the nerves. So you wake up in the middle of the night with a sore throat or you've been sick for a week and the illness has settled in your chest and in your throat and it's taken on the form of bronchitis. Rosemary tea is one of the best herbs that you can take for this. And remember it has the anti-inflammatory and astringent properties. It also acts like a tonic and it nourishes the tissues. At the store, when you go there or in your cabinet, you probably have rosemary that looks like this. It's dried, it's in a spice bottle that you got on the spice aisle. Um, very easy to get and it costs about $4 a bottle. They also sell fresh rosemary, the stalks, probably about this much, about two or three stalks in a clear plastic container of fresh rosemary for about two to three dollars a pack. Um, or you can be like me and grow your own. You have it all year round. It's wonderful. It's a, a green all year round, evergreen. And so I have fresh rosemary to use whenever I need it, even in the winter. So at Home Depot, they usually have these around Christmas time. Um, they're shaped like little topiary trees, cute little Christmas trees that you give for gifts. I will usually buy them then and just water them, and then in the spring I'll plant them, usually um, on a southern exposure towards the south, the sun, and they do very well that way. To make a tea, you can use your spice bottle, rosemary, and you want to use one tablespoon per cup of water and you put a tablespoon of it in a tea ball like this or you can use an unbleached muslin bag spice bag that I found this one at um, Bed and Bath they're very cheap they're hard to clean out um, but they're they're good to use um, as opposed to these which which cost mm, probably about five dollars six dollars um, so you want to put your rosemary in the tea ball and you want to steep it for three to five minutes and you want to put a saucer over the top of the cup while you're steeping it to keep the aromatic oils in so they don't evaporate because you, you need that. You, when you drink that you're going to be inhaling that as well and you, you want those oils um, to stay in there. 
um, if you use the stalks I usually take cut them with a pair of scissors about half inch pieces and I boil it for about five to ten minutes because it has the thicker uh, stems in it it's not just the leaves so you have to uh, boil it just a little bit longer um, five to ten minutes you can add stevia or honey to it and it really doesn't taste half bad it actually is okay as compared to a lot of other herbs you can mix it with another kind of tea um, whatever it takes to get it down trust me you'll feel so much better if you use the rosemary so I want to thank you again for joining me today at Metasweet Herbals and please go to our website at metasweetherbal.com and here's to your health